guys welcome back to another tutorial uh, this one is more or less just going to cover something that someone brought up in the comments about making splines this is the example of what we're we'll making I'll just go through the blueprint to do it it's like um, it's, if you google how to make a spline it's pretty like I think it's something that's been covered a lot but nevertheless I will just cover it quickly in a video for you guys um, First thing you need to do is just create a blueprint, pretty easy, make it a actor, um, add a spline component, and that's what's going to be used here and here, and that's pretty much it. You need to go get the number of spline points you have, minus two, and then put that into a for loop. Uh, add a spline mesh component. Uh, the big thing about this is over here, the forward axis is uh, something you need to look at. So if you look here, the forward axis on this is up, so the Z. So you have to change it because it was on X, but you put it to Z. Um, you attach it to the default scene route and weld simulated and have manual attachment on here make sure those are checked um, this is something that I wouldn't even use but you can do you can change the width and like in the length of like pretty much the entire scale of the spline that you're using uh, this here just sets a location for where you're attaching the spline so it uh, updates and adds new ones to the end of it which is pretty good so um, yeah and what you'll get once that's done is a cylinder here and you'll be able to click the end and extend it and you'll also be able to change its rotation at that point you'll also be able to extend it out further and right click in the middle and add a spline point and then stretch it and this is useful for things like, I think the guy in the comments wanted me to show you how to make something for vines that go around trees. So you could essentially get a tileable 3D model, like a, I don't know, something that will look good. And uh, turn that into a spine and wrap it around a tree. Um, I'm not sure, like, there's a couple of tips and tricks here. You uh, When you click on here, if you change the transform gizmo it makes it go along the line of where you're going it gets pretty hard to I don't know add points when it does that sort of stuff so you just change that and yeah um, thanks for watching if there's any uh, questions just let me know in the comments again and um, the next video will probably be something to do with splines again but not this sort of thing it'll be um, covering <laughs> That looks out of it. Uh, be covering how to get objects to move along them using the sequencer. Uh, thanks for watching.